As we continue to dig for new information surrounding a Johnson City dog training company and its practices, a second person has contacted News Channel 11 with similar allegations about the facility. The facility owner claims the dog's death was an accident. Investigators say the eight-month-old miniature bull terrier lost about half of its body weight while in that facility. Jackie DeFusco met with a woman who says she had a similar experience at off-leash canine training. After she learned an eight-month-old miniature bull terrier died in the care of off-leash canine training in Johnson City, Amanda Asbury knew she had to speak out about her experience. It really bothers me to know that I gave them money to do this. She says she paid off-leash owner Randy Laferney $1,400 in the fall of 2015 to board her three-year-old boxer gunner for what was meant to be two weeks. But she says two weeks turned to six. I wasn't being given justifiable reasons as to why this was taking so long. Finally, Asbury says she put her foot down, demanding to pick up her dog and withholding an additional $700 of payment to Laferney. I cannot ethically, knowingly, with my heart, give money to somebody that I know abused an animal. When she picked up Gunner, she says he had lost 25 pounds, about a third of his body weight, even though she says he was healthy when he entered the facility. It didn't even look like the same dog. I mean, I could see his hip bones, his ribs. Asbury says she didn't realize the facility's training methods were so extreme. She claims they withhold food and use shock collars with high intensity to make dogs respond to training. They had shocked him so much that the capillaries in his eyes actually ruptured and started bleeding. And at that point, I was done. When she brought the dog home, she says problems persisted. His spirit was gone. I mean, he just wasn't the same dog. Every time he'd eat, he'd throw up. Years later, she's now encouraging dog owners to ask more questions and be more skeptical of supposed professional dog training companies. Jackie DeFusco, News Channel 11, in your corner. Jackie, thanks. You can find her full story on the dog death that aired yesterday over on WJHL.com.